This is the typical style of chip carving knife that you'll see and probably use, and it works great for traditional style chip carving, but it does have some drawbacks and difficulties when it comes to old world style chip carving. So I'll talk a bit about that and what I use instead for my old world style carvings. So to, to start with, you definitely can uh, use this style of knife for old world carving, depending on the pattern you're using, how big the chips are, the shape of the chips, that sort of thing. So I'll show here what it looks like on this kind of medium sized uh, triangular old world chip. So you can see it gets down there, uh, works all right but it is a little on the deep side um, for how small that chip is and that was just about as shallow as I can go. Uh, part of the problem is with the combination of the angle of the blade relative to the handle and the thickness of the handle it can only go uh, that shallow of an angle. I can't lay it down anymore because the handle's already in the wood. So we'll take a look at what happens here on a little bit bigger chip. Definitely have to make sure to get that deep point uh, a lot deeper down, dig that in. And I'll take some smaller chips across here to get down to the full chip I'm looking for. So I've pretty much already gotten to the bottom of what I started with and I still have a bit more to go on the back of this chip. So I'll see what we can do here on the last bit. Again, I'm laying this down with the handle on the wood to get as shallow of an angle as I can. And again, there's a nice uh, smooth cut there, good old world style, but you can see how deep that's getting. And for a chip like this, this knife just wouldn't be able to do it. You can see it's almost the whole length of the blade, and with how big that is, that would go uh, probably half of the way or more through uh, this piece of wood. So won't even try that uh, with this knife. I'll show you what I do instead. But you might also be able to see in the light here some of the damage that's done on this wood as the handle slid across. Uh, so something else to be careful about when using uh, that style. But this is what I use for my old world style chip carving. And you'll see that it has a different uh, angle of the blade relative to the handle that I think works well. It also has a longer blade, which is good for these... Uh, bigger chips here, and it has two different sides. It's got kind of a, a bigger angle here and then a tighter angle on that end. And that works well for the two types of cuts on the old world style. So for the first uh, couple of cuts, those ones that plunge down deep, I use the back kind of heel side and just drive that down and then slide it up to the corner like that. And you'll see I also use kind of a uh, overhand stab grip uh, on these cuts that really help me drive the back of the blade down to get that depth. And then I'll do the same thing, but here you can see now I'm going to push and I put my hand on the back of the blade and use my other hand to guide what I'm doing. So as with all chip carving, you definitely want to make sure that this blade is uh, very sharp. And you can see that even going uh, all the way across the grain here, that it cuts smoothly, gives me nice uh, control, even cuts here. And I can get a lot shallower of an angle using this knife. 
do need a little bit more depth. So now I'll finish this chip off here. You can see I could finish this by now just rocking the blade over to meet up that line. Clean this up a bit. And you can see that's a very good, smooth, even uh, chip that is even shallower even though it's a lot bigger than this one it's actually shallower because of the form of this knife compared to the other one so if you do a lot of old world style chip carving or want to improve your results on that i recommend uh, a knife of this kind of shape this brand is Stryi, which i got on etsy but i know other brands like uh, beavercraft make the same thing so you can check those out and see how that works for you